Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back. You already know who it is. It's your boy, me, Ben Mello, coming to you back live with another death battle. We got Black Adam versus Apocalypse. Black Adam, DC, DC, uh, you would say villain slash hero slash merc slash he don't care as long as you don't mess with him and his people, you all right with him. Versus Apocalypse. You already know about Apocalypse. X-Men, Marvel. Now referencing the Fox movies, Apocalypse. That, yeah, we, we don't mention that. Uh, we talking about Apocalypse of the comics and the games and stuff where he used to whoop our mightily behinds in some of those games. Uh, hmm. Tough decision. Tough decision. You would say same region-ish, like the Egyptian African type realm. Um, similar, somewhat powers, some some of it, but Apocalypse has, I believe, has a bigger punch than Black Adam. Black Adam does have the Shazam, has that power where he just incinerates everything in his path, but Apocalypse, I believe. Has that bigger punch. Uh, two, pretty much two beings that loves to hear themselves talk, I would say. You know, they, they're going to have something. They're going to have a monologue for whatever they do. They're going to have a monologue. They're going to let you know what they're going to do. They're going to let you know what's going to happen. And you can't stop them. But one has to fall in the death battle. And my pick is going with the X-Men. Marvel Apocalypse. Let's go and take a look. Oh, we do. We got the sprites. <laughs> Where's your general interloper? Superhumans interloper. That ain't doing nothing. Yo, In a tour at the moon. Get the hell out of my country. <laughs> yes. Giant apocalypse. Wish my home to you, heretics. Push us off! Yo, this graphic is hell. Oh, 
Oh, my shoes oh, shit. <laughs> man, this result surprised us. For what it's worth, both Black Adam and Apocalypse displayed ludicrous levels of godlike ability. Both of their power supplies compared to cosmic beings like the Phoenix and Super Gandalf, and both fought heroes like Thor and Wonder Woman. Right, the victor could not be deduced by strength and speed alone. Rather, it depended on how their abilities countered each other. In that regard, Apocalypse held many advantages. For starters, he could one-up the living lightning. For almost any power Black Adam had, Apocalypse had a better version of it, and then some. Frankly, half of Black Adam's pantheon granted him abilities that Apocalypse possessed through his mutant genes alone. Notwithstanding all his other abilities from Celestial Tech, the Techno-Organic Virus, and the Death Sea. Well, Black Adam did have something Apocalypse didn't. The wisdom of Sahuti, Big Brain God, could definitely clue him in on that Death Seed stuff. And without a Death Seed, Apocalypse would not have fared nearly as well against Black Adam's strength and tenacity. So to win, Black Adam would have needed to figure out how to destroy the Death Seed, but Apocalypse could defend against that and had way more options for his own victory. His telepathy got the best of Jean Grey, and there's no reason Apocalypse could have mind read Black Adam. The courage of Mahen may have safeguarded him from mental attacks, but it never made him immune to telepathy outright. But most importantly, Apocalypse could absorb all of Black Adam's energy powers and turn him right back around. The living lightning may be enchanted, but it is still lightning. It's frequently displayed properties of ionized energy. Thus, there's no reason Apocalypse couldn't absorb it for himself. Plus, it's right. been shared between people many times before, and the more it's given to other hosts, the weaker the original bearer becomes. Hell, stealing the power of the Living Lightning is how Teth Adam became Black Adam in the first place, so Apocalypse could do the same. By slurping up Black Adam's magic, Sir. Apocalypse grew in power while Black Adam got weaker. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before Black Adam <laughs> was literally helpless against the end of all things. Black Adam may have been power incarnate, but Apocalypse's wide array of powers and specific counters to the Living Lightning meant he could rise to the challenge. Teth thought he had him until Noor gave him the boot. The winner is Apocalypse. Bruh. Thank you for watching. Stay that was brutal. That was probably the most graphic as far as killing somebody. In in this, I you know, there's been others where it's pretty graphic with some stuff, but this was just like almost like heavy metal 2000 ish and all that craziness of the 80s death metals and all that stuff like that. How you know, yeah, you you get the picture, pretty graphic, yeah, definitely. But that's hey, you talking about two individuals if you seen. The movies or the previews of Black Adams where he just incinerates somebody like it was nothing in Apocalypse. You already know my man literally becomes a behemoth. Literally zaps you from existence. Come come on, man. What what regenerates literally has a seed in his body. Now that is heart. Bump the heart. A seed that just regenerates my boy like ain't nothing happened. It's crazy. Apocalypse, Dub Zone, this your boy, Made Man Mellow. That was a good one, especially with sprites. That was awesome. I loved it. I love how I, Apocalypse was like, yeah, you, like he was literally talking down to my guy every step of the way. She, you know, she's there tried, but it's like, you gonna only say so much. That's why at the end, it's like, yeah, it's, 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 it's over with. I'm about to get stomped out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. So I appreciate everybody for tuning in. This is your boy, Made Man Mellow. Like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Peace.